It's a simple fact that nobody's perfect, therefore no movie is 100% free of mistakes. Most errors we pick up on are totally harmless, known only to hardcore fans or sometimes they're just hilarious, but what about the ones that once you see, you can never unsee? The ones that actually are just creepy as hell. I'm Scott from WhatCulture.com and these are the 10 creepiest movie mistakes ever. Number 10. Carl's Ghost – Die Hard Despite being over three decades old, keen-eyed viewers are still discovering new things about the seasonal action masterpiece Die Hard. One of the film's most memorable action beats is the brutal fight between John McClane and terrorist henchman Carl. The brawl ends with Carl strangled, seemingly to death by a chain, being left hanging in the rafters. However, one viewer recently noticed the presence of a distinctly unchained Carl in the background of the very next shot. The last time we saw Carl, he was hanging next to a wall opposite the stairs, yet in this shot we can see him standing at the top of the stairs, many feet from where his body should be. Let's forget all those conversations about whether or not this is a Christmas film, because Die Hard is clearly a horror. Number 9. The Sloth Victim's Third Arm 7. David Fincher's Seven is a sublimely creepy movie as it is, and one that includes one of the eeriest mistakes you'll ever see. When Detective Mills and Somerset discover the killer's emaciated victim intended to represent Sloth, viewers who take a close look at the body will notice a third arm is in fact visible. In reality, the scene is color graded dark enough that Fincher likely assumed audiences wouldn't notice the actor's arm hidden alongside their body because the thinner, bonier prosthetic arm draws your attention. Turn the brightness up though and it's easy to see this actor sporting a third upper limb, which considering how disturbing this scene is anyway, just makes it truly unsettling. Number 8. Judy Dench's Wedding Ring – Cats there's a strong argument to be made that 2019's big screen Cats adaptation is just one big creepy mistake. Just seeing a ton of super horny half human half cat hybrids attempting to sing for two hours. Beyond that, the film hits screens unfinished, with a very video game like patch being sent to cinemas to update some wonky effects. The most infamous and off-putting mistake occurs in the film's climactic musical number, Finale The Ad Dressing of Cats. Here, Judy Dench's very real human hand can be seen poking out from outside the CG and costume covering, complete with her wedding ring. Evidently, the VFX team were so thoroughly overworked through post-production that they missed this widely ridiculed mistake, though thankfully it was completely gone on home release. Number 7. The Fading Twin – Dead Ringers David Cronenberg's masterful psychological thriller Dead Ringers is already plenty disturbing as it is, and unlike Cats, intentionally so. Like Cats though, its technical limitations also resulted in some accidental creepiness. During an early scene where identical twins Beverly and Elliot Mantle are talking, Elliot walks away from his brother on the right hand side of the screen. Keep an eye on him and you can see Elliot literally fade out of existence before your very eyes. Because this film's twin effect was produced through clever compositing of several takes, and its 1988 release predates more complex visual effect shots, Cronenberg probably assumed nobody would notice the two shots being blended as Elliot exits the frame. Still though, fans have argued for the mistake as a positive, the effect upping an already ominous atmosphere, supporting themes of dualism and questionable reality. Or it's just something that we found after dissecting everything 24-7 because the internet. Number 6. Sarabi's Insanely Long Neck – The Lion King Pretty much everybody who's seen The Lion King will remember the early scene where a young Simba is reluctantly being bathed by his mother Sarabi, but if you pay extra close attention, you might notice a technical hiccup. When Sarabi reaches over to pick up Simba with her mouth, her neck appears to stretch a disturbing length off screen, given that the rest of her body doesn't move at all from the original position on the rock. Taking a look, that's just physically impossible. Obviously, this is an animated film without a strict tether to our own reality, but even so, this animated shortcut kinda turns Sarabi into a giraffe. Forget the Lion King, all hail the Giraffe Queen. Number 5. Premature Bullet Holes – Pulp Fiction Though Tarantino's towering masterwork Pulp Fiction never gets creepier than the scenes in Zed's basement, it does offer up a head-scratching continuity error all the same. In the iconic scene where one of Brett's associates shoots his gun blindly at Jules and Vincent but misses them completely, you might notice that the bullet holes are actually already in the wall a few moments before he fires. This is a pretty standard editing mistake, but it takes on an eerier dimension due to the fact that Jules literally refers to the bullets missing them as divine intervention a few moments later. It seems that God didn't curve the bullets away from Jules and Vincent, but straight up embedded them in the wall before the gun had even fired. Number 4. Mr. Incredible's Tooth Clips Through His Face 
The Incredibles was many people's first taste of what a well done group of superheroes could look like on the big screen. It's still an expertly crafted banger from Pixar and one of their finest efforts to date. The film is nevertheless full of shortcuts employed by director Brad Bird and his team of animators. Most are only noticed by veteran animators, but others not so much, especially given the clarity of newer 4K releases. Roughly four minutes into the movie, when Mr. Incredible is speaking to a pair of police officers, his tooth can briefly be seen clipping through the front of his face due to an issue with how this animation is layered. It's little secret that Bird and his own team of animators who were inexperienced in 3D animation found working on The Incredibles super challenging. That's likely why haunting gaffes like this were able to slip through the cracks. All in all, it's a slightly nauseating reminder that these CGI models can end up imploding on themselves like a Cronenbergian monstrosity if all the ones and zeros aren't put in correctly. Number three, the visible crew member. I spit on your grave. In this truly disturbing film, an early scene sees victim Jennifer fleeing from her attackers through the woods. Keep an eye out though, and you'll spot a crew member watching everything from the sidelines. Because of such thick woodland, they effortlessly blend into the environment to all but the most observant viewers. It's an especially unsettling mistake that in a film about sexual violence, an unsuspecting person is seemingly watching the attack on Jennifer and doing nothing about it. Number two, Imogen Poot's non-matching reflection. That awkward moment. This random rom-com from 2014 is the last place you'd expect to see something scary, and yet this totally bizarre mistake was recently noticed by a watchful Redditor. During a scene where Ellie is hanging out with Jason at a coffee shop, Ellie's reflection in the shop window doesn't always match what she's actually doing in reality. It's the sort of thing you'd expect to see in a horror movie like Hereditary, not a disposable rom-com like this. On a technical level, we're left to assume that something went wrong with the real reflection in the original take. Maybe a visible camera or crew member, and so a reflection from another take was superimposed over the top. Granted, it took people about six years to notice this, so it's hard to get too mad about it. Though you can't really stop looking at it once you notice. And number one, Mark Watney's changing handwriting, The Martian. Ridley Scott's Best Picture nominated sci-fi crowd pleaser is an expertly crafted blockbuster, but it isn't without some technical quirks. When stranded astronaut Mark Watney leaves the Ares 3 site at the start of the movie's third act, in two different camera setups, we can see that Watney has signed his name completely differently. While this is clearly just a continuity error where one portion of the scene was likely reshot later in production, in a film where a human is stranded alone on Mars, it does raise some eyebrows. Could Watney have been replaced by an actual Martian who couldn't quite imitate his behavior? Maybe the movie is about a sole Martian body snatcher preparing for the invasion of Earth. Never let it be said that the internet doesn't enhance films.